struggling to stop a nosebleed? Whether it's a common occurrence or a rare surprise, nosebleeds can be frustrating and even a little scary. But fear not. At the Patient Education Hub, we'll equip you with knowledge and techniques to handle nosebleeds like a pro. Hit that subscribe button and let's get you informed. Before we dive in, remember, always consult your healthcare provider for proper diagnosis, treatment, and follow-up. Nosebleeds, or epistaxis, are common and affect over 60% of people at some point in their lives. They occur when delicate blood vessels in the nose rupture, leading to bleeding. Types of nosebleeds. There are two types of nosebleeds, anterior nosebleeds, which occur at the front of the nose, and posterior nosebleeds, which occur at the back of the nose, near the throat, and are considered more serious. Causes of nosebleeds include 1. Dry air. 2. Nasal irritation from scratching or picking. 3. Certain medications. 4. Smoking and. 5. Nose injuries, especially following head trauma. Diagnosis. The diagnosis of nosebleeds typically involves several tests, depending on individual circumstances. Here are some of the tests your healthcare provider may use. Complete blood count, CBC This blood test checks for blood cell counts, helping identify underlying blood disorders. Partial thromboplastin time, PTT This test evaluates blood clotting speed. Abnormal results may point to clotting disorders causing nosebleeds. Nasal endoscopy, a flexible tube with a tiny camera is inserted to check your nasal passages for abnormalities or bleeding sources. X-ray or CT scan, these are imaging tests that reveal structural issues, sinus infections, or tumors affecting your nasal and sinus passages. Treatment. Treatment for anterior nosebleeds involves simple first aid techniques as follows. Sit up straight, lean forward, pinch the soft part of the nose for 5 to 10 minutes, and breathe through your mouth. Apply an ice pack to the bridge of the nose and avoid picking or blowing the nose. For posterior nosebleeds or persistent bleeding, seek urgent medical attention. When to seek emergency care. 1. Always seek emergency medical care when simple first aid fails to stop bleeding after 15 to 20 minutes. 2. When bleeding causes breathing difficulties or excessive blood loss. 3. When there are frequent nosebleeds accompanied by weakness, fainting, or anemia symptoms. 4. When nosebleeds occur in children under 2 years of age. 5. When nosebleeds occur after starting a new type of medication. Prevention. 1. Be gentle when blowing your nose. 2. Cover sneezes properly and avoid inserting objects into the nose. 3. After a nosebleed, avoid bending over, lifting heavy objects, and blowing or rubbing the nose for a few days. 4. Keep nasal passages moist with a humidifier and saline sprays. 5. Consult your healthcare provider for persistent allergy symptoms. 6. Quit smoking to help reduce the risk of nosebleeds and high blood pressure. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and share our videos with your loved ones. The Patient Education Hub is your trusted education companion.